Suzuki recently revealed a second-generation model of the S-Cross. The new 2022 Suzuki S-Cross not only gets a whole new exterior design, but in addition to this, the new S-Cross features an all-new Global C platform and a new cabin. This new car also gets a bigger turbocharged petrol engine and a better safety features list. But how different is the 2022 Suzuki S-Cross from the outgoing model that is currently on sale? To find out, keep watching this video. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We compile the latest tech and automobile news. Our videos are guaranteed to keep you coming back for more exciting content. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel so you are always up to date with our latest videos as soon as they're uploaded. In this video, we will be talking about the all-new 2022 Suzuki S-Cross. So clearly, you don't want to miss out on this. And so, without further ado, let's start with today's video. Suzuki has finally revealed the 2022 S-Cross with a first set of official pictures and key details about the second-generation avatar of the crossover. In the gigantic market of small crossovers, the 2022 Suzuki S-Cross has been eclipsed by the competition in terms of attention it has received from the media in the past. Initially, introduced back in 2006 and sold in some European markets as Fiat CDC. The latest model is now entering its third generation by the SX4 prefix. Purchasers have a choice of two specifications, called Motion and the Ultra. There is also a lot of standard safety equipment, including a parking camera, front and rear parking sensors, and driver assistance technology such as lane keep assist, traffic sign recognition, blind spot monitoring, and hill hold assist. The new generation Suzuki SX4 S-Cross has finally been revealed for the European market. The crossover SUV has been priced at $33,350 for the entry-level motion variant and $39,753 for the top-end ultra trim. Suzuki's Estragon-based facility in Hungary will serve as the production hub for the new S-Cross. With a generation change, the S-Cross has witnessed complete feature upgrades. Its engine, however, remains unchanged. Compared to the previous models, the new S-Cross sports a bolder, more SUV-like design with highlights that feature a large grille finish in black. All of this is accompanied by a chrome bar that links the sharper LED headlamps, which are positioned higher than before, and each cluster has three positioned lamps. The all-new Suzuki S-Cross is underpinned by a revised version of the Global C platform and comes sporting new styling both inside and outside. The car has not changed at all in the context of dimensions. It still measures 4,300mm long, 1,785mm wide, and 1,585mm tall, and has a wheelbase of 2,600mm. Now on to the cosmetic changes. The new S-Cross has undergone a significant redesign on the outside to make it more SUV-like in its appearance. If the front fascia of the new S-Cross seems similar, then fans have already seen this front design on the Maruti Suzuki XL6. The muscular front end that makes the XL6 stand out serves the same purpose on the new S-Cross. The new generation S-Cross looks distinctive when compared to the outgoing model. It will also now feature an XL6-like front face that adds to the overall bold attraction. Moreover, the bumpers on both ends are new, and the bonnet is set high. The wheel arches are trimmed with chunky cladding, and around the rear facet, clear lens connect tail lamps amplifying the freshness quotient. The new S-Cross's cabin layout is similar to the previous generation model with the most significant difference being a brand new floating infotainment system. Standard equipment for the Motion model includes heated front seats, dual-zone climate control, and a 4.2-inch driver information display in the center of the gauge cluster, and a 7-inch touchscreen display. The S-Cross also has 17-inch alloy wheels, automatic LED headlights, aluminum roof rails, and electrically folding door mirrors. Sounds impressive, doesn't it? Suzuki also stated that the new S-Cross is even more spacious on the inside than the original. The boot capacity, at 430 liters, is notably higher than the current S-Cross, about 353 to 375 liters. The big change inside the crossover is the completely redesigned dashboard that appears to incorporate soft-touch materials and a leather-covered panel. Taking center stage on the dash is a 9-inch touchscreen infotainment system with a built-in navigation and Android Auto or Apple CarPlay functionality. The rear probably has the most dramatic redesign and is a major departure from any existing Suzuki car. 
the new S-Cross now sports wraparound tail lights that are crystalline in appearance. The flat boot lid gives way to a sloping rear window that ends at the rear spoiler. However, some elements including the steering wheel, analog instrument cluster, and switches for the dual-zone climate control system may appear to be carried over from existing Suzuki models. Other notable features include 360-degree cameras and a large panoramic sunroof. For the first time, advanced driver assistance system are also included on the new S-Cross, also known as ADAS, including adaptive cruise control, traffic sign recognition, autonomous emergency braking, lane departure prevention, and a rear cross traffic alert. Under the new S-Cross hood is the 1.4-liter booster jet turbo petrol engine paired with a 48-volt mild hybrid system. Peak power output is rated at 129 horsepower and torque is rated at 235 newton meters. With the mild hybrid system's electric motor adding as much as 13 horsepower and 50 newton meter under acceleration. In Europe, the 2022 S Cross will also be offered with Suzuki's All Group Select All Wheel Drive system with different drive modes available. The gearbox options will include a six speed manual and a six speed automatic. Suzuki has reportedly confirmed it will also offer a robust hybrid version of the new S-Cross, which will feature a bigger battery and a more powerful electric motor to enable pure electric drive in 2022. Moreover, the powertrain seems to be frugal. Suzuki reportedly claims that the company has a combined WLTP fuel economy figure of 53.2 miles per gallon and CO2 emissions as low as 120 grams per kilometer. It also meets the Euro 60 emissions regulations, meaning you need not worry about the expanded ULEZ charge. Also, a fascinating quirk of the mild hybrid system is that the electric motor can be used to keep both the engine spinning when not moving and power the car up to 10 miles per hour without using any fuel. The motor will spin the engine's crankshaft with the fuel injectors disengaged, setting drive through the gearbox of the wheels. The new SUV-like design is most evident from the more prominent cladding on the front and rear with the Foskit plates. The side profile of the 2022 new S-Cross is no doubt cleaner than the current model, giving it the impression of being tall when users view the car from the side. Moreover, the 17-inch alloy wheels further add to the high ground clearance on offer, making the new S-Cross closer to the Hyundai Creta. Also, the powertrain comes with a 6-speed manual gearbox as standard, although a 6-speed automatic can be specified as an $1,800 option. The flagship S-Cross Ultra comes with 4-wheel drive as standard, although this lowers fuel economy to 47.8 miles per gallon. The new 2022 Suzuki S-Cross comes with several driver assistance systems such as front and rear parking sensors, traffic sign recognition, adaptive cruise control, and blind spot monitoring. The new model comes in six color options, metallic titan dark gray, silky silver, sphere blue, energetic red, solid white, and cosmic black. Overall, the new S-Cross is now a more appealing car for anyone considering a mid-size SUV in the coming year. Maruti Suzuki launched the first-gen S-Cross in India back in 2015. While it had been the car manufacturer's flagship model since, it has generally languished at the bottom of sales charts with purchasers choosing to go for more butch-looking mid-size SUVs available for the same money. Despite this, it remains to be seen if the 2022 S-Cross will still stand a chance in Maruti's portfolio, given that the next-gen Vitara Brezza is likely to move off-market. Moreover, Suzuki is already rumored to be developing a new mid-size SUV in collaboration with Toyota as a part of its global alliance, which we will hear about soon. The upcoming iteration of the crossover gets a complete overhaul in design with respect to the current model. Units of the new S-Cross are expected to start reaching dealerships in Europe by Christmas this year, with delivery scheduled to commence from Q1 2022. Well guys, that's all we have for you today. What are your thoughts on the new 2022 Suzuki S-Cross? Do you think Suzuki is taking their car to a whole another level? Get involved and let us know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed today's video and found it interesting, then make sure to leave us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to be kept up to date with the most exciting content as soon as it's uploaded. Thanks for watching. See you again soon in another video.